A pro-independence majority is now guaranteed. And Nicola Sturgeon served notice that she would see the UK government in court if it refused the new parliament's right to call a referendum when it chooses. For any Westminster politician who tries to stand in the way of that, I would say two things. Uh, firstly, you're not picking a fight with the SNP, you're picking a fight with the democratic wishes of the Scottish people. And secondly, you will not succeed. Number 10's determined to stop that referendum happening before the next general election. And it's dusting down Theresa May's phrase from 2017, when she rejected the idea of an independence referendum during Brexit talks. I say to the SNP, now is not the time. Now is not the time. Now is not the time to be talking about a second independence referendum. The government argument will run no referendum while there's Covid around or while we're recovering economically from Covid. I don't think uh, that circumstances uh, have changed uh, in a way that merits having another divisive uh, event and certainly not in uh, the, in a pandemic or in its immediate aftermath. And that probably means for the whole of this parliament? I certainly don't think uh, that we're going to have, uh, have enabled a recovery uh, for a number of years. In England, Labour's election woes continued, losing the West Midlands mayoral contest. For some, Keir Starmer's leadership, the main culprit. We used to be for the many, not the few. It's now being replaced by under new management. That's what you see outside a local shop. That's why we really are you know, at a defining moment in the, the history of the Labour Party. We could, and this is a bold statement, we could be looking at one Kia that began the Labour Party and another Kia potentially ending the Labour Party. Oh, he's shaking hands, he's not supposed to. <laughs> the results suggest some Labour candidates did better, where there was a prominent Labour figure already around who was seen as a local champion. In line with a lot of the northeast of England in Sunderland Central, there was a seven point swing to the Tories compared to the general election in 2019. But in Delin, in Labour run Wales, with a Labour First Minister regularly on TV, there was an eight point swing from the Tories to Labour. Lee constituency went Tory in the general election, but it's inside the Greater Manchester area, which has had a high-profile Labour mayor, Andy Burnham, for four years. Here there was an eight-point swing from Conservatives to Labour. In South Norfolk, they lightened the mood of a long Covid-compliant count. Many results now dragging into tomorrow as Labour turmoil continues and constitutional crisis looms. Talk to people at the heart of the government's response to this SNP vote, and it's very interesting their tactics forming. One big part of their tactic, tactics is to try and sort of pick apart uh, Nicola Sturgeon's mandate, almost sort of pull it apart brick by brick. Are you sure you really got it uh, for independence? Surely there were a lot of people there who didn't really want an early referendum or any referendum at all. Uh, are you sure you didn't get it on the back of COVID, on the back of incumbency? But at the same time, the government is going to try and not look too brittle because it knows that lurking inside that SNP vote are some people who might just, it thinks, be brought over to the unionist side if and when there is a, a second referendum. So it's going to be talking about partnership and how we need to work together. The SNP, for its part, amongst many other things, uh, is going to be trying to reach out to international opinion and, and, and bring as much of that on side as it can to say, look how uh, the UK government is behaving here. It's totally improper. Going back to the English votes, well, uh, as you saw in that report, the topsy-turvy world of politics that we now inhabit uh, in England continued. The Tories today were losing a lot of seats in places like Tunbridge Wells, West Sussex, Canterbury, picking them up big time in a place like Rotherham. And the people that seem to be bucking the trend are people like Andy Burnham, local champions. They can sometimes bring other people uh, on their coattails. And no surprise then, perhaps, in Keir Starmer's difficulty that people like, like Andy Burnham are being talked about as uh, possible successes.